Now that you've gone through the literature packet and you understand uh, how much charge you may need to add after you install the unit, uh, any piston changes that might be needed on the uh, uh, evaporator coil, now we want to kind of concentrate on what we need to do with uh, brazing up the unit and installing the outdoor unit. Of course you have your knockout for your electrical uh, whip coming in right here and you just connect up to your uh, contactor. But one of the main things we want to keep in mind is that uh, we want to protect our service valves from any excessive uh, heat. So make sure you use a wet rag. Nordine recommends a wet rag when brazing in on the service valves. Don't use some of the uh, paste that are out there, thermal paste or anything like that. You're, you're always going to be in pretty good shape if you just use an old wet rag on there and kind of keep some of that heat away from the body of that service valve. Keep in mind on newer units, newer heat pump units, we now have a different liquid line valve. Uh, looks similar to what we have on the unit right here. This is an air conditioner, of course, but with the heat pumps, uh, we do have a two-piece liquid line valve. Some matchups uh, require that a piston change be made uh, for the outdoor unit. So we've now included this new liquid line valve that contains the piston. To get to that piston, essentially all you have to do is unscrew the line from the body and in there you will find the piston. If you need to make a change, use a paper clip or something uh, small to pop out that piston, remove it from the body itself, and then install your new piston. Make sure it's installed correctly with the bullet side pointing towards the condensing unit. When you're done, this is just a metal to metal uh, seal. Uh, you can use on the thread itself some thread sealing compound. Um, I've done that in the past. Uh, just make sure it's rated for 410A refrigerant and make sure you only get it on the threads only. Do not get it within, within the valve body or the, the innards of the liquid line itself because you could potentially um, clog up the piston itself. Um, once you've installed the piston, go ahead and screw on the liquid line itself and then cinch it down another quarter inch. As I said, it's a metal to metal seal. You should be good to go and uh, should be leak free from there. Um, prior to changing out the piston, I might braze my liquid line on here first Go ahead and make my piston change, screw everything together, and then you're good to go on the liquid side. If we need to have a change an outdoor piston, we've brazed in our line sets. Keep in mind that when you do braze in your line set, you want to use an oxygen acetylene torch set. Microchannel coils on the inside, the inside construction of them have very narrow channels. So when you're brazing, you want to braze with nitrogen. What is that going to prevent? That's going to prevent the black oxidation flakes from forming inside the line set itself as you're brazing on there. Thus, when you release the charge and the refrigerant's moving through the system, you may get some of that black flake caught up in the microchannel coils, which could cause a restriction in there. So always braze with nitrogen. It's uh, just good practice. It's best practice. Uh, connect your nitrogen at a very low flow barely needs to be anything, just something to displace the oxygen within the line set itself. Braze on as you normally would with a standard fin and tube coil. You do the same thing here on the microchannel coil.